Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Charles says I, Captain of the Steves, and I got myself a cup of tea, and what am I going to be talking about today? I'm going to be talking about Towers of Azkaban, or Azkaban, or however you pronounce it. Anyway, people, they've already gone and released a roadmap for their early access. Let's jump on over onto this sort of cam so I'm not blocking too much of it. But you can see here, in quarter four, 2024, so still this year, this winter, post-launch support, quality of life updates, polish and bug fixes, stability and optimization. Lovely jubbly. Now, in some of the actual trailers itself, people, I have seen a couple of like lost frames, a few weird shadow glitches, things like that. But I'm already seeing that they've polished up a lot of that in latter video footage. Anyway, Q1 of 2025, new spirit god. A new region and a new quest line. That speaks to me that they're going to be adding in some sort of new biome in quarter one. Time of day related gameplay. Pretty darn nice. Creatures that spawn at specific times plus new creatures. So yeah, nocturnal and geranial type creatures. Offline play mode. Okay. Well, looking at the actual PlayStation Store, I'm fairly sure you can play this offline anyway, because it doesn't say that PlayStation Plus is a requirement unless you want to play with four players. Additional glider traversal methods. Nice. Photo mode and player emotes. Brilliant. Eh? I mean, it's a beautiful game. It needs to have photo mode. But that's nice to see that's coming in quarter one. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Quarter two, 2025. Mount management systems plus new mounts. So maybe there's some sort of stabling method or something. So you can summon in whichever mount you like. Multiplayer experience and activities. Great, because from the actual trailers, it looked like you could just visit each other's worlds, have a look at each other's towns and maybe take on the withered sort of areas together. New creatures, new quests and cross play. Cross play. Brilliant. Eh? Now, I am picking this up on PlayStation 5 at launch, mainly because my mate John Ninja Dojo is also picking this up and I want to play with him. But it could be that I pick it up on PC as well. Player character customizations. Brilliant, eh? Most of the player models look female in a lot of the actual footage I've seen. So perhaps they might add in additional ones there. Who knows? Improved town folk AI. Well, to be honest, when I was watching the actual footage, all I saw was players. I didn't see much when it comes to AI NPCs. Another thing that I didn't see is inside of any of the buildings. I'm hoping that they've got building interiors. Anyway, improved Shidax entries. Shimudex. Shimudex. So, yeah, you're part of the Shimu tribe. Shimudex entries. Okay, lovely. So, a better cataloging system in Q2. Q3 2025. New Withered NPC character. Okay, nice. New region. New quest line. Giant demon combat. Right. Okay. Well, there's, there's already some large enemies inside of the withered areas, but a demon? Are you talking a red shining demon? That'd be pretty nice. Environmental cold effectiveness and resistances. New region, new creatures. That says to me, snow biome. It almost looks like they're adding in new biomes every quarter, apart from quarter two. This is cool. And creature relationships. Interesting. Q4 2025, shallow water biome, so maybe swamps, Dago Barash, I guess. New region, new ecosystem, new creatures, new foliage, new quest line. So something that we saw in some of the actual footage was a giant turtle creature that talks to you. I'm wondering whether that's actually going to be in game at launch or whether that's Q4 content that we've seen right there. And a fishing village. Lovely jubbly. 2026, so this is way off into the future. Increased tower levels, new withered content, new major quest line, environmental hot effective effects and resistances. So that says to me either a live lava biome or a proper deserty biome. Town happiness. Okay, interesting. And building customization. So I guess you're going to have a little mini civilization going there. So there we go, people. 
you know, this game isn't even out yet, and I'm just getting more and more excited for it. It comes out this Tuesday coming, the 19th of November. Now, I am booking off the rest of the week off work, the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, to play this. I'm going to be hitting it up. I'm going to do live streams of this game, and I'm probably going to do longer than normal live streams of it. I may also record it directly to my hard drive and then do some edited versions of that for those that haven't got time to sit and watch hour-long streams or even longer than that. But anyway, people, I am thoroughly excited for Towers of Azkaban and I can't wait to be hitting this up on the Tuesday and I hope you come and join me. If that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, hit a like, hit the notification bell and then you won't miss it. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again.